Hi there, I'm Jan Leesens from Product Manager at Septentio. We made a product, R6M UES, to make mapping on drones really easy. One of the challenges people have when they want to map with drones is that they have to install ground control points to get the required accuracy. We made a solution to take that problem away so that they can use the R6M UES receiver on the UAV together combined with the software and the geotag software to georeference the images afterwards, after the flight. So that means that people can do their centimeter level accurate georeferencing without ground control points and without requiring a real-time uh, radio link. So it's much, much easier for the people in the field. A point that's important if people want to integrate a GPS receiver, a high precision GPS receiver on a UAV, there are two things that they need to be taken care of. The first one is to make sure that there's no interference on the GPS frequencies. You have to make sure that the antenna is installed far enough from the electronics, from other electronics, or that there's a shielding in between. For example, a GoPro, if you use that one, it will jam GPS if it's too close to the, to the antenna. So make sure that the antenna is properly shielded from the rest of the electronics. The second point is the synchronization with the camera. If you take a picture and you want to georeference that with centimeter level accuracy, make sure that you have a very accurate synchronization with the, with the, with the camera. For example, if you have a, a UAV that's flying at, uh, at uh, 50 kilometers an hour, if you have a, a delay of 50 to 100 milliseconds, which is very typical for lots of uh, cameras, you can be more than a meter off just by the, the time error. So make sure if you want to synchronize it, use a camera with a hot shoe and use the flash trigger as a way to synchronize with the, the camera shutter. If you do that, so no interference on the drone and no camera shutter and a good synchronization with the camera, you'll be able to get uh, nice results down to two to three centimeter level uh, without using drone control points.